I think the, the, the key principle to understand about curiosity, and it's one that we, we get wrong all the time, I think, is that curiosity is like a, a muscle. You need to work it in order to, to keep it work powerful. Um, we tend to assume, I think, that curiosity is this gift that just kind of keeps on giving. You're either a curious person or you're not. If you're a curious person, you'll always be curious. You'll always take joy in learning. Um, that's not true. You've got to consciously cultivate the habit of curiosity in order to stay a curious person. Right? And that can be hard work, it can take effort, it can take time. Um, it can sort of bend your days out of shape because you're going to read this book or uh, you're, you're kind of go, go down this rabbit hole on the internet uh, rather than doing the thing that you, you know, you're scheduled to do. Um, but doing that actually pays off in the long run because you have this kind of much broader base of knowledge which means that you learn more and take more pleasure in learning as, as you go and ultimately become a more interesting and more interested person. Um, but that's the key thing to me is you, you've got to cultivate, you've got to make an effort and, and this book is really a, a kind of a plea and a, a kind of making a, quite an ardent case for that, for that attitude to life. Um, I just think it's better to be a curious person. It pays off in all sorts of ways, you know, financial, economically and so on. You know, people who are curious tend to be, uh, do better at work, they, especially in a kind of increasingly complex world. They tend to be more innovative, more, more creative. But ultimately it comes down to satisfaction, you know, um, pleasure and taking joy in life. Um, and so much of the pleasure and joy com comes from people, but also comes from knowledge. Um, and that's really what this, this book is about.